गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द टॉपिक प्लांट किंगडम वी ऑल नो दैट प्लांट्स आर फाउंड ऑल अराउंड अस वी कैन सी वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट्स सम प्लांट्स आर बिग एंड टॉल सम आर स्मॉल एंड शॉर्ट सम प्लांट्स ग्रो इन सॉइल वाई देर आर सम प्लांट्स विच ग्रो इन वॉटर सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी ऑल द टाइप्स ऑफ plants also we are going to learn about the parts of a plant so a plant has six parts and we are going to learn about these parts also now can you see this picture yes it is the picture of a plant i have also marked the parts of these plants here we have roots then stems then leaf fruits bud flower all these are parts of the plant now we will learn these parts of the plants in details so the first part of a plant is a root so this root is under the ground or it is inside the soil and what is the work of these roots these roots they hold the plant tightly and they also absorb the water from the soil the next part is the stem this stem provides the water that is absorbed by these roots to all other parts of the plants it provides water to the leaves these are the leaves of the plants so the stem provides water to these leaves and it is in these leaves that the preparation of food for this entire plant takes place food is prepared in these leaves with the help of air water and sunlight and then the stem takes this food and the energy to other parts of the plant the next part is a bud bud is a very very tiny when the bud blooms it becomes a flower here is the bud and here are the flowers when the bud blooms fully it becomes a flower you can see here the bloom flower so after the flowers the flowers generate fruits so here are the fruits of this plant and these fruits have seeds in them and because of these seeds new plant can be produced or new plant takes birth so these are the six parts of the plant roots stem leaves bud flowers and fruits so these are the parts of a plant now we will study the types of plants or trees we all know that trees or plants some trees are very very tall like the coconut tree some trees are huge the stem of the trees are huge like the banyan tree that is vada cha zhad also we have many other trees like mango tree then we have jackfruit tree gava tree neem tree various types of trees are found around us so also we have small plants around us there may be plants that give flowers to us there are plants which give vegetables to us so various types of big trees small plants are found around us today we will be learning these types of plants or trees in detail so the first one is trees now what are trees trees are big and strong plants the plants which are big and which are very very strong are called as trees examples for trees are coconut tree banyan tree neem tree jackfruit tree then mango tree so there are various trees so also these trees can live for 100 years the life of these trees is very long these trees they can live for 100 years and the stem of these trees is very very strong and 
thick. The next type of plants is the shrubs. Now what are shrubs? Shrubs are the small plants. The small plants are called as shrubs. Example for shrubs are rose plant. Many of us have rose plants at our house. So what is a rose plant? A rose plant is a shrub. Also the cotton plant is also a shrub. So also the henna plant that is the mehendi plant it is also a shrub. Why are these called as shrubs? First thing it is that they are small plants. The second thing is that the stem of the shrubs it is hard but it is thin. It is not thick like the mango tree or coconut tree. The stem of the shrubs is thin and strong. And these shrubs can live for few years. They can't live long for 100 years but they can live for few years. Also the plants like tulsi plant, then the jasmine plant, they are also called as the shrubs. Okay. So the third type is herbs. What is it? Herbs. Herbs are very small plants. These herbs are smaller than the shrubs also. And how are the stems? The stems of the herbs are thin. How are they? It is thin and very soft. So the herbs are very small plants and the stem of the herbs are thin and soft. Example for herbs like wheat plant, rice plant in the farms, then mint plant that is pudina plant or we can say tomato plant all these are herbs. How are their stems? They are very thin and very very soft. And these herbs can live only for few months. They can't even live for a whole year. But the life of these herbs is only for few months. And the examples are wheat plant, rice plant, then mint plant as well as tomato plant, then radish plant carrot plant, then ginger plant, all these are types of herbs. These plants are called as herbs. So next are the climbers. From the word climbers we come to know that these plants are such that they climb on other plants or any other object. These climbers are having very weak stem. The stem of these climbers is very very weak and so they can't stand straight on themselves. But they require support of something for growing. So these climbers what they do? They grow on a wall or some other plant or some stick or anything which is supportable to them. So these climbers they grow on other things or other plants and so they are called as Climbers. Examples for climbers is the best example is money plant, which is seen in everybody's house. Also, we have grapevine, it is also called a climber. Then we have cucumber plant, cucumber means kakdi. Also, other plants like the plants that give us beans, pods, all those are climbers. They take the support of something and they grow and these climbers some climbers they can live for few months while some climbers like grape vine or money plant they can live for few years so next are the creepers what are these creepers creepers are the plants which are having very very weak stem the stem of the creepers is weaker than even the climbers so what do these creepers do they don't take the support and grow but they just spread on the land. They spread over the ground. That is they grow on the ground itself. Also these creepers are having fruits which are very heavy. For example of creepers I can tell you like pumpkin, then watermelon, bottle guard that is dudhi bhopra. So these fruits are huge in size. The weight of these fruits is much and so the creepers they grow on the ground itself 
so the weak the stems of these creepers is very very weak and so they grow on the ground itself okay so this was the lesson about the trees and plants in this we saw various types of plants also we saw the parts of a plant now it's time for the homework and your homework is you have to write the answers to these questions here i have given you five questions and you have to answer these five questions so the first question is you have to name three shrubs so what are the shrubs shrubs are the small plants and i have given you various examples like rose plant cotton plant hina plant then what else did i tell you jasmine plant then tulsi plant all these are shrubs you can write any three names the next question is name three herbs what are herbs herbs are the plants which are smaller than the shrubs and what are the examples wheat plant then rice plant we have we have ginger plant radish and carrot plant mint okay so you can write any three names the next is name two climbers so what are climbers climbers are the plants that grow taking the support of other things like money plant grape vine cucumber plant then beans plant so there are many examples next question is name two creepers what are creepers creepers are the plants that grow on ground example is watermelon pumpkin bottle gourd so you can write the names the next question is name three trees you are having so many options for the names of the trees you can write coconut tree mango tree peepal tree neem tree jackfruit tree banyan tree various names are there for the trees so it is your homework for today you are going to answer all these five questions